Good morning, good morning. Got my black coffee. Wifey got me a Starbucks. This thing is popular nowadays. I'm adapt to it, man. Easy. Especially good stuff. Good coffee. But as I sit in my little office today, I'm done. But again, I sit in my office today, right? And uh, I'm really blessed, man. Um, study my blockchain this morning. I just look back and see how my life is evolved. And sometimes I get on here, share my little personal experience, you know, in hoping someone benefit when they watch the video. Could be young or old. We never stop learning, man. Even at my age, I'm 44 years old, I'm still learning. I learn from all sources. I even learn from my, my children, you know what I'm saying? So I'm very humble, you know? But, but as I look back, I see why many people fall prey uh, to certain situation and, and their life being distorted by end up in prison. And as I look back, man, there are two things, you know, there could be more. But as I look back, there are two things that I learned. Ignorance of the laws and ignorance of the consequences, right? Um, like, I got in trouble because I knew I was going to get in trouble. But I didn't know, I didn't know that I'm going to be gone for 10 years and end up in the Fed, right? If many of us knew how serious it is, many of us, then I think we probably think twice, no matter what circumstances and condition that we might be in, right? And that, I can't speak for everybody because some people, they're really, really in a bad situation that they have to get it done, right? So by you, Ignorance of the laws, like I commit an armed robbery in the state commerce, right? I knew I was in trouble when, but when I get caught a month later and the whole year through court process, you know what I'm saying? The judge gave me 120 months. Shit just started dawning on me, man. I said, damn, I be gone for 10 years, you know? And then... That's when you only have, by that time, you ain't, how your mindset is, is so important, man. Is you either gonna make a big change for your life, or you're gonna say, fuck it. And then you just go through the motion. And a lot of people doing that. And that's why when they get released from prison, they end up in crimes again, and end up in prison again. So, ignorance of the laws, ignorance of consequences take you to places that you don't want to be at, right? I didn't want to be end up in prison, man. So, what happened when I end up in prison because out of my ignorances of the laws, I end up doing 10 years. But then, because I, because I knew that, so all my times that I was in prison, all my time, 10 years, I don't gangbanging, I don't drink. I don't gamble. I don't even look at dirty magazine. I want to keep my mind clean and disciplined, man. So all my time I devoted is studying, working out, training, boxing, martial arts, and sleep, sleep early. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm doing. But many of the prison, many of the prisoner, man. 90%, 99%, they're not doing that. You know what I'm saying? They're going through the motion. So that's why you see people always look bad at people in prison because they think that that's what all we're doing. All we're doing is playing basketball, lifting weight, you know what I'm saying? Eat, sleep, and stabbing each other. You know what I'm saying? So that's the image the society look at prisons. You know what I'm saying? But there's a lot of us, like me and many of the other people, I want to make the change, right? So in order for you to liberate yourself from the ignorances, you have to do your own studying or find your mentor and study, man. And the street is pretty 
tough because it's like a, a spider web. If you don't know how to, you don't know how to navigate in the streets. You get caught up in the gang, and dealing drugs, and where you gonna end up at? Six feet and under, or prison. If you bless, you you not get caught. But how many times are you not gonna get caught? And if you get caught, you gotta have money to get the lawyers to get lesser time. So you see what I'm saying? So it's like an ultimate destination when you when you're doing crimes. But the but but you know what I'm saying? If if you live in a if you live in an environment like you know what I'm saying, like in my neighborhood, if that's all you see, then that's all you know, right? <laughs> that's all you see, so that's all you know. I mean, my dad, I ain't got no daddy, so you know, mom can barely make enough. So there's a lot of a lot of boys like myself right now, or when I was growing up, the same thing. We cannot afford to move. And a lot of people don't realize it. Man, they ain't work hard enough. What you mean? My mom worked two jobs and she ain't speak no English. I was 14, 13, I passing out flyers. I thought I only do it in Vietnam. I passing out flyers over here 13 years. I make like 25 bucks. What you mean I don't work hard enough? I do all kind of labor over here in America, man. See what I'm saying? But a lot of people don't see that. They just think, man, they're bad. They're bad. You know what I'm saying? They're bad immigrants. No, we're not, man. We just need opportunities, man. So ignorance of the laws and ignorance of consequences can lead you to places that you'll regret. So if I see people today are doing the, the, the wrong thing, that's why we're telling them. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully they can change courses. But when I went, to, you know, when I went in prison, man, there's a lot of things that you have to be disciplined to survive. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a like, totally different world, man. You know what I'm saying? But, man, always stay, always stay informed. Always keep a humble mind, ready to learn. Always stay safe, man, because... The street, even if you're doing the right thing, they still traps. Street and society is all but a spider web, man. You gotta learn how to navigate it, man. Be safe, stay safe, and don't be ignorant of the laws and the consequences. If you're doing wrong, you better check and see if you can handle that time, man. If you can't handle it, don't bring it on yourself and your family. And those that love you and care about you. Until next time, maybe next time I talk a little bit about prison, man, because prison life is wild. Yeah. See y'all.